The Trezor Model T was originally released in early 2018 and it is still one of the best cold storage wallets on the market to date. But what makes it so good? In this video, I'll walk you through a quick setup and give you my hands-on review of everything the Trezor Model T has to offer, including its security, user friendliness, coin support, and some things that it lacks. And before I forget, I just want to mention that the price of the Model T has been permanently reduced from $213 down to $179. And you can save even more money if you use my discount code, CYBERSKRILLA, all caps. Similar to other Trezor models, the Trezor Model T is an entry level hardware wallet, mainly because it's so easy to use and the touchscreen makes it really simple to enter seed phrases and pins versus a wallet that just has buttons. Sure, the screen is pretty small, it's just a little larger than my thumb, but there is no lag and the tap is very accurate. So overall, the design of the Model T, while not luxurious, is functional nonetheless. So what about setting up the Model T? Even though it recommends about 20 minutes to set up the device, even if you're a complete beginner, you can set it up in just about five minutes. First, you want to plug in your Model T into your computer using the provided USB to USB-C cable. Then go to trezor.io forward slash start to download Trezor Suite, which is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, or you can just use the web app. And in case you're wondering, Trezor Suite is the software used with all Trezor hardware wallets to manage your wallet and all the crypto your wallet holds. Next, just open up Trezor Suite and tap set up my Trezor. The next screen will have you choose to either create a new wallet or recover a wallet you already have using your seed phrase. If you create a new wallet using Trezor, you can only generate a 12 word seed phrase. However, you can import up to 33 word phrase if you choose the recovery option. Assuming you choose to create a new wallet, the next step is to write down your 12 word seed phrase, which is displayed exclusively on the device. Then you'll need to confirm three of the 12 words before moving on to the next step, which is setting up your pin code. The last step before finalizing your wallet is to choose which coins you want activated. The Model T supports more than 7,000 tokens, which does include all ERC20 tokens. You'll only see a select few tokens on this page, but I'll show you how to add a custom token later in the video. Once you choose your coins, tap complete setup, and then you can edit the name of your wallet and even change the home screen. And finally, you can access Trezor Suite. Now you'll notice this pop-up asking you to choose your wallet type, standard, or passphrase. If you don't know what the passphrase option means, just choose standard for now and I'll show you how the passphrase feature works once I get into the security portion of the Model T. You'll definitely want to take a few minutes to explore Trezor Suite as there are a lot of features that you can enable and disable which increase privacy and security, so definitely spend some time in there. Also, while you're doing that, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more videos about cold wallets and crypto security. Speaking of security, let's take a look at all the security features the Trezor Model T offers. You probably noticed the first element of security earlier in the video when I was unboxing the wallet. It comes with a Trezor branded security seal that covers up the USB-C port to ensure the device hasn't been tampered with. And it is super sticky, so it's not like someone can take it off and then put it back on, as it does leave some residue on the device once you take it off. Of course, the Trezor Model T has a bunch of other security features, such as its open source firmware and hardware, as I know this is super important for a lot of you who are considering choosing a cold wallet. It's also pin and passphrase protected, which is arguably two of the most important security features you could want from a cold wallet. The pin is device specific, so this keeps everyone out of your wallet. And the passphrase actually allows you to add your own unique word or phrase to the end of your seed phrase to create a hidden wallet. And I like the Model T specifically because it does allow you to enter both the pin and the passphrase on the device itself for increased security, whereas as the Model 1, for example, only allows you to enter the passphrase on the computer, which is less secure. I made an entire video about passphrases, which I'll link to at the end of the video if you want to check that out. And of course, every transaction, including any changes you make to your wallet, must be approved on the device. That way you know that it is intentional and legit because you can trust what you see on your wallet. As I mentioned earlier, it is really worth exploring Trezor Suite for some other security features that it offers, like the built-in Tor switch that allows you to relay your connection through a network of nodes that encrypts data and masks your IP address. So without a doubt, the Model T is really secure. However, there is one security feature that it does lack, which is a secure element chip. While this isn't a deal breaker, this chip primarily aims to prevent physical attacks by storing your private key in the chip itself. But assuming you create a 
robust pin, you can pretty much eliminate any fear of a physical attack compromising your device. Next, I want to show you how to add a custom token to your Trezor Model T wallet and transfer some crypto to it. To add a custom ERC20 token, tap on Ethereum under the Accounts tab in Trezor Suite, then tap the three dots and select Add Token. From here, all you need to do is add the token's contract address and Trezor Suite takes care of the rest. I've already added this token that I was trying to add, so Trezor Suite is just letting me know that it's already been added. That said, let's transfer some crypto from my MetaMask wallet to my Trezor Model T wallet. I'm going to transfer some PNDC to my Trezor Model T, which is an ERC20 token, so I just need to copy my Ethereum address. You'll also notice that before you can copy your public address, it makes you confirm the address on the physical device so you know that what you see on your computer is actually true. Then I just open up my MetaMask wallet, select the coin I want to transfer to the Model T, tap send, and since this is MetaMask Mobile, I'm just going to scan the QR code to get my Trezor wallet address. Then choose the amount you want to send and hit send to confirm the transfer to the Trezor wallet. And it's as simple as that. And if you want to send crypto from your Model T to another wallet, it's just as easy. Select the coin you want to send, hit send, paste the public address of the receiving wallet, enter the amount you want to send, then hit review and send and approve the transaction on your Model T. Overall, the Model T is really easy to use and it's super secure. It has been since it came out in 2018, making it great for both beginners and even advanced crypto enthusiasts. It also happens to be one of the most affordable touchscreen wallets on the market, especially if you use my discount code. And the fact that it offers a passphrase feature is a huge bonus in my books, especially if you want to keep your crypto extremely secure. So I definitely recommend learning more about passphrases in this next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.